I, I never anticipated to wake up the morning it come out and have someone message me saying it's got two million players already. And then it's just it's just kept growing and, and kept growing. It's definitely been a standout part of my career. 中国国产游戏《黑神话：悟空》自今年八月发售以来，在海内外平台的热度持续不减。游戏中饱含情感的角色对话，让不少玩家直呼上头。在英文版《黑神话：悟空》中，英国游戏配音演员詹姆斯·亚历山大为银狐等多个角色配音。他采用的伯明翰口音在海外引发了很多网友讨论。近日，亚历山大接受了中新社记者专访。The culture differences blended very well. There wasn't any moments where there was big difficulty, which again is an achievement in itself. 亚历山大表示。为了更好的诠释角色，他在配音前专门了解了中国古典名著《西游记》，并研究了游戏的中文配音。游戏团队也为他提供了详尽的英文脚本，帮助他理解角色所处的时代背景。因此，在配音过程中，他并没有遇到太多因为东西方文化差异而造成的理解上的困难。So I did a bit of research into like, uh, the characters I was voicing, just to you know make sure I was you know approaching it correctly. So you wanted to make sure the character. Uh, suited the culture, but also kind of the time period it's set as well, because there's so much detail in the game. What we did have, we were played the Chinese voice actors' lines because Game Science wanted to make sure that they were similar at least in sound or delivery. Black Myth Wukong was really explained very well. It, well, it wasn't like usually you do get things that are lost in translation a bit, and you get confused. And you're like, oh, I don't understand what that means because like ways of talking, but. It was really, really in detail how the lines were written. They were translated really, really well. Ya Li Shan Da, not only is a voice actor, but also a true fan of the game. In his opinion, the Chinese Wu Kong has many elements of Chinese culture, which is very attractive for foreign players. It also brings the Western culture into it. This mixing of Western culture and Chinese culture is one of the most important factors in the success of this game. I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what I'm playing it at the moment. I think what Monkey man, and you see these dragons, giant gods, and you know all these these crazy characters. You're like, okay, this is more like. But I also think it's it's a very accessible game. It's taken elements from other popular games like God of War and Dark Souls games, and it's taken gameplay mechanics and met them together really well. 在配音工作结束后，中国神话传说激发了亚历山大的兴趣。他认为《黑神话：悟空》中的中国文化元素对于海外玩家来说有持续的吸引力。If you don't come away from the game wanting to at least learn a bit more, you don't have to become like an expert on Chinese culture. But I feel like when you play it, me personally, I've definitely playing it. I'm like, I'd love to know more about this story. You know, this has definitely got me to be more like, I want to look more into it because. There's so much in the game that you hear about, like Yao Guai. I'm like, hey, let's look into Yao Guai. Let's see what that's all about. And you see Erlang Shen. You're like, who's Erlang Shen? Why has he got an eye on his forehead? You know, that's interesting. So I'm definitely going to buy a book on Chinese mythologically and folklore. Read into it. Mm-hmm.